I, I want to get to a core question that I've had because I, you know, I don't know how many times we get a chance to discuss things, so I, I don't want to miss my opportunity. When I see these, the main uh, focus that we've got, it's it's called 3DS, right? A 3D experience. 3D 3D experience. Okay. Yeah. So the 3D experience, I want to understand how literally does it go down to the nuts and bolts? Is this uh, is this a twin? um that that shows sort of the main the main moving parts like how in depth does it go it can be it, it actually that's what again makes it unique people can build a scaled model but actually operate a working model so be able to run when you think of from uh pit basically through to plant to port having a, a virtual model that runs all of that understanding is when you run simulation against it what are going to be some of the outcomes right what are going to be some of the challenges right what we could potentially plan for that in some ways what makes us unique. And again, DS has that capability to be able to model to that scale that makes us unique. So this is some of the things that we're now bringing to the mining industry. I come back to what I said earlier around the expertise we brought from the automotive industry, from the aviation industry, where we've done these type of projects before. So now we're doing to that scale in a mining sense. When you're here, when you're here at the, you know, talking to people, um, do they do they have an understanding already of what is? I mean, obviously there's some minds that have, that have done it in a big way, but just you know the the other ninety five percent, do they have a do they have a clear understanding of what the capabilities are? I think they have a, a much clearer understanding of some of the other equipment manufacturers, like some of the pump uh, manufacturers. They'll have a a digital twin of of just that specific I was piece just looking of at one on a, yeah, on a screen of, yeah. and carrying out predictive maintenance on, on the trucks and shovels and everything. Right. But it's just one little slice of the pie. And what Dassault brings to the table, as Brad was saying, is that you need the whole pie for the virtual twin, right. and not just a digital twin of one engineering piece. Right. So the 3d experience platform, Jared, understand that that would be the integration layer, right? So you talked about that. So let's say we have a, you've already talked to a couple other uh, potential uh, clients or not clients, but other industries, right? So they're doing models of bits. So they're doing models of pumps, right? Well, how does that fit into the overall process of workflow? So again, the 3D experience platform allows the capability to have that built into the overall model. So now you understand what that would do then in the greater process. So if, for example, that pump affects maybe, oh, I don't know, could be affect, uh, a, a, an aspect of a planning of the mine or something. Well, there again, is we understand that and what the overall effect will be to the workflow. So I think this is what, again, 3D experience brings is the capability to do more with data and start to integrate more of these aspects of mining. So then are you, then, then can you go into scenarios then <clears throat> or if this pump breaks down mm -hmm. or if we, you know, change the flow rates, like, it, like, what are we doing with, once we've got the twin, what are the examples of how you're actually operating that twin? Absolutely. So once you have the twin, right, that's where you put in a simulation layer. Right? You can simulate thousands of different scenarios mm. and figure out where your hill of value is, what, what are the principal components that are affecting the outcomes the most, um, and, and those allow you to, have, to frame the decisions that you have to make in the proper context.